to get this guy behind bars. Forty potential jurors, you know, the, the bailiff, the judge, the parents, stand over, so stand over there with you. And you put all this money and put the guy behind bars. So meanwhile, we don't have enough uh, for, for, for for addicts, you know, to come down off the drug. And 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 yet, you know, so it's kind of fast backwards, you know, and, and they're just making money. It, it, it's, it's a racket. What do you think about it? That's your bank. That's your bank. What do you think about all that? Actually, it's my company's bank. It's your what? My company's bank. Oh, your no, company's I bank. bank. Oh, I you work there. No. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling. Yeah, yeah. Because and you live in this area. Yes. yes. And you know what I've been telling people too, though, is that you got to remember the cops have a vested interest in, in uh, Wells Fargo because if they didn't fund the prisons, the cops would have nowhere to take us. You know, so. Exactly. Exactly. And, 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 and you know, a lot of folks are saying how that the war in Afghanistan is the longest war that this country has ever fought. I, I, I beg to differ. The war on drugs is the longest war this country has ever fought. It's the most ineffective. It's the most ineffective. Yeah, exactly. Because first of all, they're not locking up the people that are supporting it to the state. Those yeah. guys are in there. The U.S. government actually helped get guns into Mexico. They they were doing some kind of sting operation, and all these guns got into Mexico. Yes. You know, it's like okay. Well, that's you see how they come back into the country. You know, exactly. and who's bringing them back in? Exactly. Yeah. And not only that, but that's how the illegal aliens came through. The same way they brought the illegal children. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like yeah, you came in right this way and gave guns to uh, people to fight us. So we going, we coming up yeah. in this country that you have to. Torment us, Cuba, and uh, Castro. <laughs> so, like I said, you know, when you look at this neighborhood, they're not funding the poor people. They are ostracizing them. They're telling them they have to leave and go elsewhere to live. In in essence, the laws in the district of regulatory affairs says, as long as you have eminent domain that have been here a long time, you should get first preference to purchase from. But that's not the case. They did change the law and made an exception to the law where they can buy, and then the people have to live. And you got young kids are getting locked up every day on the street. And now they walk this if they come down the street, the police will take them in hand and lock them up. There's no reason. They can they can say, well, I thought you're supposed to be um, in school. They've done that to my daughter, who's a daughter. She's she's going to college here, and they think she's a, a young. They lock her up with all. And they arrested her. Yeah. And no, she goes to school, but yeah. they just arrested her. I'm in college. And That's you. Yeah. And they said that I'm in, I'm walking the street for yeah. two hours because yeah. I appear to be a school oh, kid. Okay. So I said I can show you my license. Oh, that's that's irrelevant. We just take you down to book it. They just stopped you? Yes. On this street right here? Yes. Right across there. This is on T Street and Seventh. Right now. Yeah, that's kind of awkward yeah, yeah. because yeah. because Howard's She's a few blocks wow. away. Exactly. You know. Yeah. And then they know once they're say, okay, let's add me. You. They wait that right of mine yeah. to add me, to cart me, to see if I was of age, to be yeah. that I'm not a minor. Right. So, they just took it and judged me on how I was. So, who got permission to be, to come back to go home? They didn't ask that question. They just immediately assumed that she's true and say, I locked up. And if you were a teenager, they would have, I mean, they still shouldn't have the right to just stop you and harass you like that. But that's what they practice. Well, you, you, you know what that reminds me of? Because that the riots over in London a couple months ago, that's how it all began because the cops were, you had know, white cops harassing uh, black teenagers and, and, they, and they began to react to it. And, and then the cops blew off the head of some 29-year-old guy, last name Duggan, you know, and, and uh, they, it, it, all, it all just blew open at, at that point and they, and they had the riots, you know. No, it's, no, it's, not, it's becoming not just a, a race issue. It's just basically is MPD and the regular citizen. It's like if you even say something and say that's not right. This is not the, you know you, you don't you didn't even ask that person for their ID, and that person has a right to walk the street. You know as long as 
are not breaking the law, they lock you up too. But for just uh, saying that you are, right. you know, um, right. being belligerent or doing right. something against yeah. the law. See, see, but that's, that, that's why what you do, you get out one of these flip cams or an iPod uh -huh. and, 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 you, and you start taping them. See, you, so uh, you don't jump in, you just record it, put it, put it on YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I know is that yeah. politicians and police, they are scared of technology. Yes, they are. Yeah. I'll tell you what, because like Michael Chernoff, the, the former head of the Department of Homeland Security, uh, we caught him one day com coming out of the back entrance of, of uh, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce down through the alley. And a bunch of us just went up to him saying, Mr. Chernoff, all we want to do is talk to you. We're now violent. We had cameras and, you know, flip cams. And he literally ran from the group. I mean, because he knows if he says the wrong thing, he gets put on YouTube, it goes viral. That's right. On the day that the police stopped you, did they arrest you? They arrested me. And, and they, they took you in? To the, yeah, to the 3rd District. So, are you suing them for false arrest? Oh, uh, well, we were still in the process of it because my thing is, I didn't do anything. Yeah. I, just, I was woken and they said it down, written that I appeared to be younger than what my license is. Huh? And I'm like, I'm in school. I'm yeah. a college student. And regardless well, he, of that, you should have asked. You should call, you, your could, motive. you could call the ACLU, the okay. American Civil Liberties Union, okay. and tell them about that. Okay. And maybe there's something that we can do about it. That's not fair. That's not right. No, it's not. And if it's happened to you, it's happened to lots of other people, too. Heard. You know what? What, I, what I'm thinking, though, is going to be the case, though, is that, you know, if you go to court, they're probably going to say that if you're under 25, then it's very easy to mistake you for a teenager. That's what but, but what he should have done still, though, is he should have looked at your eyes on the spot rather than taking you. In the first place, like you said, they didn't have a hand the right to stop her because yeah. she was not breaking the law, but she was walking home. See. So, it's, you know, she was in her right. She had no right you know, to stop her. Right. See, see, but, see, but when, it, when, when a cop stops you originally, you're not technically under arrest. You're not under arrest until he says you're under arrest. But, but uh, you know, so, so during that time, you know, he has the right to stop you and talk to you, you know, but but, but then he should he should look at your ID or whatever on the spot though. you know that that DC is a police state. We got like four, okay. we got like 40 different police agencies in this city, and, and some, some have overlapping jurisdiction. 